good morning y'all welcome back to my youtube channel west indie collection if you're just new to my channel welcome i'm glad to have you here so in this video you know your girl i was really about to go to sleep and take a nap but like you know what get up let's get this day started and everything you know have a nice productive day i am off this weekend thank god but yeah you guys i'm off this weekend even though i feel like dang i'm only on schedule for four days out the week and sometimes we don't always stay till 4 30 so it's not like i'm really gonna be getting paid as much so i'm really trying to just think about things i want to do soon you know in my future to where i don't have to be in the same situation i definitely feel like change is coming so i just want to keep on having this guidance and you know have faith that everything will work out for me you know so i just want to say i hope you guys are all having a good day today it's saturday thomas literally had a school fall festival today he did not want to go y'all i didn't force him oh and excuse me your girl got on one eyelash <laughs> and i did i know i slept with my makeup on last night but we about to fix that right now so i'm looking a little crazy this is me just getting up I already cooked the kids breakfast and everything but yeah, I just want to talk about some things with you guys, you know, and um, yeah, so if you guys are interested in watching this video, make sure you guys are supporting me by liking this video, hitting the post notifications, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Your girl's on her way to 10K subscribers, and it just be amazing just to see and how far I've come and how far I'm going, and I just, you know, I'm thankful to have you guys here, and let's just keep this thing on and going, so... Yeah, make sure you're showing your girl some love. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this video. So pretty much I did this on purpose because I wanted you guys to know what I'm going to use to take off my makeup, of course. I guess my eyebrows looking good, though. <laughs> but yeah, and my hair. I'm going to do my hair, obviously. But I am going to get in the shower after I do these two steps with you guys. I already brushed my teeth. But I just want to show you guys what I'm going to use for my face before I get in the shower. So, I'm going to use, where's my cotton balls? Oh, give me one second. Oh, and you guys, I'm like, Thomas, how are you going to make friends and stuff if you're not even going to, like, school events? I don't want to be that parent, you know, where, or where, like, your child goes to you or they tell their other people, like, my mom was never there for me. She never came to my school events or supported me. I don't ever want to be that parent. So, for my child to sometimes say or don't want to participate in things, I get it. Don't try to go all out and then you go and then you don't like it or whatever. But I at least want him to know that, like, look, if you want to go, your mom will take you. Like, I don't have a problem taking you and have a good time, you know. But he acts like he doesn't want to go. And it's like, I guess I shouldn't force him to go. But I don't really want him being just in the crib either. But he doesn't want to go. It's the weekend, so. But, yeah. I am going to use the Garnier Skincare Cleanser Water. It's an all-in-one brightening. So it removes like makeup and everything. Um, it's for dull skin, even sensitive skin. That's why I got this one because it's for sensitive skin. And it's actually, I think, a new one, I think, I saw. And so, yeah, y'all, that's a little tiny one. And I use my Yuka app for this one. And it's good for you. It's like safe. It's, it's good. So I'm going to use this to basically take off my makeup, this other eyelash. <laughs> and then I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to use to clean my face. So pretty much what I want to talk to you guys right now before I come back to you guys is so basically a while ago when I was still like doing entertainment and everything. I applied for the Amazon affiliate like program where I guess you could sell like products and stuff on Amazon or recommend products and when people purchase that product you could get like a percentage of it so yeah I tried that and it's of course a step process thing and you know this is when I have multiple accounts and stuff and I have like you know I pretty much listed all my social medias because they asked for all your social medias and Twitter was one of them and so, and that's the crazy part, because I don't really see people advertising for Amazon on Twitter. 
but I listed it and I guess they did their research or whatever and I basically got denied because I had like you know adult content for my Twitter and I guess you can't I guess you can't be on the platform if you have like any explicit or type of content and I didn't know because that was really my first time really coming across something that kind of denied me uh, based off like what I was into at the time. And so I was kind of upset. Well, I, can't, I know I probably was upset at the time about it because it's like, you know, but I did keep moving forward. But that is something to think about when you are into the adult entertainment industry is not everybody or companies may want to work with you because it's like an image thing and they probably don't feel like they'll be in a good light of how they will want their business and it kind of sucks because you don't really think about that well at least i have it prior to getting into it knowing that you know i like to do like multiple things and a lot of people say if you shoot with certain companies you know, you're never going to do anything or be anywhere in life or people ain't going to want to like, for example, hire you because of what you're putting out there in the world. And I really haven't had any of those like problems, thank God, um, to where it's, I feel like it destroyed my life or took a toll on me mentally. But, you know, that is something to consider if you're someone trying to get into that field or you post those type of content on your social media because a lot of companies or brand deals would look at your type of like they will look at your social media and will judge you based off what you're posting on your social media instagram whether it's maybe a clothing company so if they saw me posting all this explicit content who knows they may not want to work with me i wish people didn't judge like that because like what does that have to do with you but a lot of people will feel like that like they may feel like it may mess with their image or, you know, like it's not kind of portraying what they want to put out into the world. So it's like, why work with you when there's plenty other people in the world? So that was something I had to think about. Maybe if I try to apply again, I may will get it because I obviously deactivated that Twitter account. I no longer have that one. But those are things I could think about or in the wrong run of how it may could affect me if someone was to ever pull me up. I try not to think about that because, you know, God can make ways, you know. So I try not to think about that, you know, and let that get in the way. I feel like if people see me for me, that should do. But if people are looking at you, no matter how good of a person you are, and they're looking at what you put out in the world... And they'll judge you based off that then maybe that company should stop for me and that's okay there's something out there bigger or greater for me and then whenever say and i always thought like well whenever you make it big then they probably will try to come back knocking on the door again and it's like well you wasn't fucking with me then let me use another term you wasn't shooting with me in the gym then so why would you be trying to shoot me in the gym now when you wasn't you know you wasn't with me in the gym from the jump. Like, you wasn't rocking with me from the jump. So, I kind of look at like that from that perspective. Like, oh, I remember you. You didn't like me then, so I'm good, you know? Because it's like, now I'm super big. Now you're interested, but then you weren't probably interested. All because you thought, oh, ruined, like, your image and stuff, you know? So, yeah. Um... So I just try to like just think about things like that or moving forward in my life. Just pay attention to, you know, what you are doing. Just pay attention to what you are posting because it could affect your career. It could. So now what I'm about to do, I'm about to use this Clean and Clear Deep Action Exfoliation Cleanser. I got this from like a Kroger's literally. And I got it because it was approved through the Yuka app. Like I said, I told y'all before, I'm trying to watch what products I put on my body and everything. So this made it pass, okay? It is actually a new formula, so it's new. Uh, I like it. it feel, I feel like it gives you like a nice suds and everything feel. Um, I do feel like when it gets to my eyes, at least it's kind of like a refreshing, like, I don't like a minty like exfoliating or when it comes to like my eyes or eyelashes so i think it has to do with what's in it but yeah um 
I don't really care for that sensation on my eye or eyelashes, but as long as it's not burning my eyes, I'm cool. But other than that, this is pretty, it's pretty good. It's not that bad. So I'm pretty much about to just wash my face and I'm going to stop really quick, hop in the shower and I'll come back with you guys. Smells pretty good. So yeah, I think I'll probably give it some time since this happened a while ago. And I'll probably reapply for the affiliate program and see if they'll set me. And I feel like I should be okay. Especially me taking down like the pictures. You know that taken down. I may have some like pictures up, but I don't think it will give off like a certain image to where it'll be like, oh, I don't want her to be a part of our program type of thing, you know, so. Yeah. I'm just trying to rinse around good. My ears a little bit. And if you guys haven't noticed by now, excuse me, I am like a talker, so it feels like I'm running, like, to different, like, things to talk about. Please don't mind me. <laughs> Please don't. I try to stay on topic. <laughs> So yeah, y'all did that, and then, and the reason why I did this first because I want to get actually get dressed for today, but I didn't want to put on my shirt and then wash my face. I rather just get all cleaned up overall. So yeah, you guys, I'm gonna hop in the shower really fast. I'll be right back with you guys. Hey you guys, so your girl is back. So now I'm about to do my hair. I'm gonna use this Echo Style Argan Oil, and I'm just gonna overall spray my hair with some old sheen. I did wash my hair yesterday. So yeah, I'm going to just continue talking to you guys about what's on my mind. So you guys, I just don't know what it is. You know, I'm trying, I'm trying to become a better person. I'm trying to do, you know, what is, you know, should be expected of me as a woman, you know, a woman that's trying to become a wife, all these things, you know, thinking I'm doing the right thing. And I just don't get it. I don't know if I'm like overthinking, if I'm tripping, or if no girl, you need a reality check. So, you know, my man, like, I just don't know what's going on. I really don't because here I am thinking I'm doing something good, thinking we're progressing, and then I feel like it's just. I don't know if it's like setbacks or what. So today's his birthday. And I really caught myself not posting us on the internet on YouTube because I've done that before. And I just don't want to put out something and then I guess you could say the word regret, you know. Because I'm trying to obviously deal with these things in private until I'm ready for or for both parties is ready if it ever came to that but I just feel like I don't know you guys tell me or help me or give me help give me some insight on this as well even though I feel like I know things but I just feel like I don't know maybe I could just be tripping or maybe that is not the case but pretty much it's like Today's his birthday and about two days ago, okay, me keeping it real with you guys, I got to like pay my bills and stuff. I did make some phone calls where they are extending things so that gives me leeway to try to get certain bills covered and you know me falling short on my rent for this month. So I'm trying to basically get the money and see what I'm going to do what's best. I'm literally not stressing this because I'm putting my faith in God, basically, this time around. Lately, I have been paying my rent um, on time and I've had it in full, of course. But right this month, I'm kind of struggling just a little bit when it comes to like my bills and child care. Because y'all, it's just me and my kids' dads. They don't help me with child care. So it's literally on me. And... I'm not really the type to really ask people for money. I'm not. 
So about two days ago, just me knowing me, me knowing that obviously it's my man's birthday, I still, you know, being thoughtful and wanting to still try my best to do something special for him. It won't be like me going all out like I would like to or like what I did last year. But I at least wanted to be thoughtful, like take him maybe to a dinner, you know, do something at least fun that doesn't have to cost too much, you know. That's just me being me. I just at least want to make his day special, be able to see him, things of that nature. But y'all, about two days ago, he tells me at nighttime, God, God told him to stay in all weekend and he can't be on social media. He can't see nobody. He can't drink. I guess he has to eat after a certain time. You name it. You name it. And y'all, I'm not going to lie. I didn't handle that well at first because I'm like, like, what's going on? Like, I, I just couldn't understand. I just couldn't understand because last year... You know, I felt like he kind of dodged me exactly on his birthday. You know, we just had some issues. And here comes this birthday. It's, I feel like we're running into these blocks again. And I'm tired of getting treated like this. Like, I don't, I feel like I'm not, now I'm not being valued. I feel like that kind of shoots me up how I feel overall as a woman and what I would like to do with my man or what I want in a relationship. Because I, and I'm trying to understand, okay, I'm not ever going to, obviously get in the way of God but I'm like is he for real right now like you mean to tell me you can't even see your own girl on your birthday like I never heard of nothing like that you guys like I never heard of a couple not seeing each other on their birthday on their birthday and I just never seen or heard anything like it like I could see if you was out the country long distance on a work trip so to the point where you couldn't see your woman or you couldn't see your man but if you in the same city, y'all both off from work. Like, he took off, like, a whole week from work for his birthday. And I, I have the whole weekend off. And you mean to tell me I can't see my man on my birthday? I mean, on his birthday? And I really feel like he's doing it because he probably don't want me to spend money on him because he really didn't go out for me on my birthday. And, you know... And I pretty much gave him the same energy that he gave me because, you know, I just feel like I'm a woman and I want to know that my man cares and loves me. And what is he showing me to prove that? You know, like I need to feel secure in that. And I really, you know, I just thought like, hey, I can't see him again. Like we're doing this again. Like what is going on? Like are you trying to be sneaky or are you holding in something are you trying to not tell me everything like what is going on but he making it seem like he's not he's doing it to everybody like he can't be on no social media like nothing youtube nothing so i'm like you know i try to put my bitterness to the side i like slept on it and i'm really like i try to put my bitterness to the side and start talking to him again and then last night we got into it a little bit. I kind of played with him and I couldn't even get a chance to tell him the truth that it was just a joke or something. Because I told him I went out to a bar and like, got a drink. I, I was just being playful. You know, it was like it was a joke we had on our prior conversation. So I didn't think really too much of it. But it kind of transformed into something else along like other topics that we kind of like typically do when we going back and forth about stuff. And like he basically told me in a text message when we did get off the phone he said i love you but i love myself more and that's of course i would want somebody like to love their self you feel me like you have to love yourself but in a relationship though saying that like if you're trying to take someone seriously i would want my man to love me like to eternity like he will love me so much like he'll yeah, like yeah like he'll put my part sometimes over him sometimes because i feel like that's what love do to you like if you really love someone like you it's kind of like a crazy like you're crazy in love like you just you will do anything for that person like nothing can, like getting the way and i just feel like when a, someone say a comment like that that makes me feel like Oh, he's not really into me. He's putting his own happiness and portents once he needs before me. Like, for example, now, like, 
he's not allowing me to see him on his birthday and to me those are like selfish acts like y'all tell me like am i'm dealing like with a narcissist like i even did some research and i feel like dang like there's no way that someone could love me and i'm being treated like this especially if someone gives me this like hard type of treatment on my birthday when it comes to special times in my life even when i try to cut people off you know and it's like what am i doing and then it's like you're making it hard now for me to see you on these type of holidays and stuff like i feel like i'm just in existing like where i come into play we're just where is my feelings going to be hurt instead of brushing my feelings to the side instead of always making it seem like I'm not listening or I don't hear you. I just feel like those are things just to make an excuse of. Or when I try to dig a little deeper, like you're quick to change a subject, like little stuff like that, I be trying to pay attention to. But I just don't understand that comment, you guys. Like, and for me. And we always do these things or he'll be like, get off your square or like leave, you know, like you don't have to, you know, but I know if I do try to leave, he says I'm not going nowhere or he'll still keep trying to talk to me. So it's like, if I was to say move on, right, I mean, try my best to move on. I would be lying if I say I don't have feelings for him, that I don't love him, you know, it's like, it's there, like we've grown that feeling. Like, I've grown those feelings for him. So, I am going to be feeling down. And I barely have support as is when it comes to talking about my personal life. So, I feel I will have to go through all this alone. Like, yes, I could go through it with God. Definitely. I mean, I just thought about that. But I will be feeling so sad. And I know, especially because I get on here and I be crying and stuff. I just find myself crying like and I don't want to cry right now, but like, see y'all, I'm telling y'all. But I just don't understand. Like, this is not what I was expecting, like, true love to be like. And I'm trying to, like, work through because I know relationships are not perfect and stuff. But it's like, I just can't believe this. Like, I can't see you on your birthday. And, you know, now he's, he's just been giving me narcissist vibes. But trying to make it seem like it's me when I know it's really not me. Like, I'm a person that I try to make shit work. Like, I try to come up with a solution to things. Like, I don't want to be toxic. I don't want to be, you know, I I'm one of the people I'm trying to, ch I would try to change or work with you. But if I see that you're doing it for your own selfish reasons or because you're insecure or because you're a narcissist or because you're trying to be controlling, like, then that's probably me trying to, ch that's me changing me, just trying to please you. But it's like whatever I do is kind of like not being good enough. And he doesn't want to admit his wrong or his wrongdoings and stuff. And that's not healthy in a relationship. So that's why we keep butting these heads. Because how are we going to get past this if we keep bringing up the same stuff over and over? I just want to move on and be happy. But I can't even see you on the things like this, your birthday and you didn't make me feel super special on my birthday when it came to when I went to do my skydiving. He had a problem with dude taking me skydiving because I didn't want to wait the next day when he'll be off from work. But it's my birthday and I plan to go skydiving on this particular day. And it's like, why should I have to move around for somebody else when it's my birthday? Knowing I'm big on birthdays and it's my happiness. But people want me to move on their time. But it never wanted, But they don't want to do nothing on my time when it's my birthday. So, I don't know, you guys. Y'all tell me what y'all think, what y'all get from that type of message. When someone say they love you, but they love their self more. When it comes to, this is someone that you're supposed to be building with, potentially moving in with, getting married with. And they tell you a comment like that. Like... How do y'all think I'm supposed to feel? Like, how do y'all feel about that comment? What y'all think that comment means? And about me, like, do y'all think the whole God telling me this is, like, a BS thing? Y'all think it's, like, a hide-up of something? Do y'all think it's because he's trying to avoid me having to spend money on him? Because he know he really didn't do that much for me on my birthday? And so, he don't really want me to spend money on him? Or I, don't, I really don't know, but I feel like... It's something. 
It, it has to be something. Because I just don't understand. You can't see me on your birthday. So, there, he's like literally going to be in the crib all weekend. He can't do nothing. Except talk to me on the phone. But honestly, I just said happy birthday and sent like two links to some things. I don't, you know, I don't want to speak too much because I know how we is when we say we're not talking to each other when we end up talking to each other. But I, even if I want to be done, done, it's like, I know I'm going to cry. I know I'm going to hurt because it's like, now I'm going to start going back. I'm going to feel alone. I feel like I'm starting this whole relationship thing, like all over. And it's like, who wants to... Who wants to do that? But it's like, if this ain't something real, I don't want it. And it's wasting my time. You know? I don't know. It's just, it's hurtful. It's, it's definitely hurtful. But I'm gonna, oh yeah. So before I end this video, though, you guys, I just want to mention that your girl, I am working on something, something that I kind of, I think, mentioned to you guys in the past, my previous videos, but I just want you guys to do me a favor, comment below if you guys will be interested, if you guys are a person that loves to travel or you're interested in traveling and you just, you know, don't know where to begin, things of that nature, I want you guys to at least comment below. Um, if that is something that you're passionate about or something that you do frequently or you want to do more often, like things of that nature, let me know because what I'm working on has something to do with that. And I just want to know what you guys think because soon I will obviously start mentioning more to you guys. But I at least want to know your thoughts on it and everything. So comment below. Let me know your thoughts on if you love traveling, you know, enjoy traveling or may know someone that um, travels so you guys can tag them or tell them about my channel, something of that nature. Let me know. And with that being said, I hope you guys are enjoying your Saturday. And uh, make sure to like this video, hit the post notifications, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see y'all in the next video.